Good morning. Today is Friday, May the 11th, 2018, 7.35 in the morning, 63 degrees. I'm back from walking. Got to do a little watering before it gets hot. We're going to Buford today to get the oil changed in my car. There he's waving. He's on his way to Hardy's. There's a kite flying around up there. It's not a kite like a uh, kid's toy, it's a bird. Big thing. He just flew over the house and Larry saw it. There's birds way up there, but those are buzzards. I think the kite must have flown away. That's the direction the kite went. There's a frog on the window. That's a little tiny green one. But, and you get around this way, you can see his eyes and it's a frog. First I thought it was a snail. See how little he is. When Larry was out here a little while ago, he said he saw a black snake go into the wood pile. So I'm giving it a wide berth. It's in there somewhere. I told Larry he's going to have to be the one to go in the pump house for a few days till it disappears. I don't have any problem with uh, camellias or frogs or spiders, anything like that. But snakes are a whole different story. We got the desk off the truck just now from there. Got here in the building. Now I just backed the truck up close and we pushed it off. I probably should have had the camera, but it was in the house and he was in a hurry to get it done. So here's the desk. It's going to be his all open down there and it's got three drawers. Got to put the other bottom drawer back in. Just a big work surface. He's going to use it here in the workshop. And Larry's been trying to sell this red truck. We don't really need it and it's kind of an expense to upkeep. And Ted wants to buy it so I guess we'll probably sell it to him. Larry's telling him everything that's wrong with it so it won't be any surprises and he told him he still wants it. At least today. Maybe if he tells him some more things wrong, he might change his mind. But we'll find out. I called the telephone company today, and they came out and, and marked where the phone and internet line goes into the house here. You can see the orange and the flag. I'm going to take that out of there and bury a big wash tub right there, so I needed to know where the lines were. So I just called them this morning, and they came out today. That's really quick. There's Larry with his gun, old Dead-Eye Larry. <laughs> Trying to get a, a loose snake out here. Oh, you got your alligator belt on it. The old alligator belt. Okay. Oh. I feel safer when you have a gun. Yeah. <laughs> We're back here loading plants on the truck. Got a few here already. Tomorrow's the last day Larry's going. If you can see that sprinkling can right there, it's got spider plants in it. Looks real nice, but Larry can't sell it because there's a wren built a nest in there. And it was just in there. Cute little bird. There's a better view of the sprinkling can. Maybe I'll see if I can see anything down in there. There's a frog in that bucket. The nest must be down under there. I can't see it. Spider plant's growing in a pot in there, so the nest is probably down under the pot. One final watering. He didn't have any in the back seat this time. He's just kind of taken not quite so many. Sold a bunch of them. We saw that kite today flying over. 
So uh, Larry's going to tell us what he knows about it. He can recognize them when they're flying. We get out the bird book, and he got some more facts about them. So tell me what you know. Yep. I noticed the... I was sitting in a chair and I noticed a bird come right close to the house and then went up in the air. And I knew right away it was a kite because it's got the long forked tail on it. And it's and it's called a swallow kite. And I and I got the book out. And I've seen it here for the last several years, uh, every once in a while. Not regular, but every once in a while it'll fly around. And um, come to find out, I, I looked in the book and, and the... Uh, Books said they range from eastern tip of South Carolina all the way to Texas and down to Florida, and um, it's a it's a beautiful big bird. It's as big as a hawk, and I found out that they like lizards and snakes. So, and we just saw a big black snake a little bit earlier. I don't know if he was keeping his eye on that or not, but if he don't get it, I am. <laughs> But they're real pretty birds. I like to watch them soar through the air. And uh, it says that they very seldom, most of, they spend most of the day just flying around looking for food. Very seldom light on a branch. It's, but anyway, it's, it's a pretty Remember bird. I used to see them on the plantation all the time, out on the rice field just flying around. So, so, so they're around, but there's not a whole lot of them. You don't see very many, but you see a few of them once in a while. Are they by the, the rice fields and the rivers and where there's water? They go in the forest, they go everywhere. They're just constantly flying around. I've seen them over the, over the rice fields several times. Do you remember what color their eggs were? I think it was white. White with white spots? White spotted, yeah. They lay, t they lay two to four creamy white eggs, boldly spotted with dark brown, in a stick nest offered lined with moss, and usually is set in a tall tree, about like an osprey, you get mm -hmm. up in a high tree. So is that the book from the Audubon Society, Audubon book? Yep, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Anything you need to know, most of the time you can find it right in there. On the plantation, I always seen so many different wading birds, and uh, so I got this book in it. And every time I find one that I really know about, I would go get the book and and see what it was. So many different kinds, especially in the in the old rice fields when the water's down, they're just everywhere. Different kind of wading birds. Everything from a grebe to a blue heron, a green heron, and all kinds of wading birds, eating those little minnows and little fish and, and the shrimp. Okay, thank you for your information. <laughs> no problem. That concludes our interview today. <laughs> There's the sun getting ready to set. Time is uh, 7.40. We went to Buford this morning, went right off and left the camera at home, so I don't have any footage from Buford. And the uh, dash cam camera, we were halfway, there, well, we were part way there and looked up, and it didn't have any memory card in it. So, nothing from our trip to Buford. But we got the oil changed, and got uh, our tires rotated, and a couple new windshield wipers. So, the car's in good shape. Talk to Betty today. I'm going to go see her tomorrow. She's taking the, me to tea for my birthday. And I got all the laundry done today, so it's caught up. Good night. God bless.